Hello, how are you? All good? Delis Gandra here from Device. In this video, I want to show you how I made this house being built using a render I created in Unreal and Artificial Intelligence. Let's get started. For this, we'll basically need two renders. An entry render and an exit render. We're going to do this there. In Kling AI, we're going to animate. We'll create this animation here in Kling AI using an entry render and an exit render. I'll leave a link below in the description for you to download two images, actually four images. I want to show you a vertical option and a horizontal option. I'll leave them for you to download. The first image is the image of the empty lot. And the second image, which is the image of the house built. In other words, it's the render with the empty lot and the render with the house already in place. And I'll also leave this other render here for you. The render of the empty lot and the render with the building. So we can make these two versions of the animation here. All right? Cool. But what if you only have the render? If you don't have the 3D file, you only have the render, you no longer have the file. I'll show you how to remove the background, remove the house using artificial intelligence. For that, we're going to use Nano Banana and bring our image here. Drag it to Nano Banana and type the prompt. I'm going to type it in Portuguese, okay? Please remove the, the house from the image, leaving only the empty lot with nothing else remaining on the property. In its place. Let's see if it'll understand it like this. Oh, nice. I actually really like it even more than the version or with grass. Let's download it. You can download this version, which does not include the house. The AI, specifically King AI, handles the rendering. Now I'm going to create a small folder here and name it construction, just to keep things organized. Mats cool. I'll put it here, house 01. Look how cool. So the artificial intelligence has already done the job of leaving the lot empty for us. With instructions, I now have the image with the empty lot and the image with the house. Now let's take the house and bring it here to keep things organized actually and see if it respected, for example, the dimensions. Rename to house 02, an input image and an output image. House 01 and house 02. Look how cool. It respected it, okay? Look at that. It respected it. It only changed the image size, but that's fine, no problem. Let's do something here before taking it over to Clean AI. Let's remove the logo and more or less make the images the same proportions. I'm going to use for that Photoshop, okay? In this case, we used Nano Banana to remove the lot. And it was super simple, right? It was a simple prompt. Just remove the house and keep the empty lot. If you already have the render, if you already have the rendered file, if you have the 3D file, you can remove the house and also generate the render without the house. But now let me bring the house over here and see more or less if they're keeping the same proportions. Open the file with Photoshop as well. Now look, we have this particular image proportion here. Press Ketrel A to select all, then Ctrl C to copy, and finally Ketrel V to paste. Obviously, these are images with different sizes. The image of the house is much larger. Let's shrink it here, and it'll fit perfectly. That's it. Cool. Let's see then how it looks with the house and without the house. There you go. Perfectly placed, right? Great, we have what we need. The only difference here is the image size, but that's fine. It didn't change the image's proportions. It didn't change the camera positioning, for example. And now it's super simple. Let's go to ChatGPT, which is already open here. And let's ask it to create an optimized prompt for the client AI, for example. Create an optimized prompt for the client AI. 
All right, so what do we want? For this example, I'll just have two images or one image, which is the image image zero one. I'm saying this so that if you're watching this video in English, what I'm saying is exactly what I'm typing. All right. I'll have two images. One image, which is image zero one, is an image of an empty lot, a vacant plot of land. An image zero two, which is the image with the house built on it. Either way, I'll leave the finalized prompt for you down below. Okay? Three, two images, one image, which is image zero one, and image zero two, which is the image with the house built. Cool. Make a 10 second time lapse video. My recommendation is 10 seconds for the video. Because if you use only 5 seconds, for example, here in Kling, your animation will be very fast. It'll be too abrupt. And 10 seconds. It's a relatively good amount of time so that the animation is smooth, so that the transition isn't too fast. All right? Cool. So what we're going to do now is make a five second time lapse, which involves creating the transition between the images. And we'll be following a few important stages along the way. Let's go ahead and get started. The first stage, which we can call stage one, is where we begin the process. So let's move on to stage one and see how it works. Let's imagine that in stage zero one, the land is vacant, right? Builders arrive at the site with their machines. Machines. They carefully pave the land and thoroughly prepare the soil for the next steps. Now, what exactly is stage two of this animation process? What is the stage two? I think it's after they pave the ground. Builders. The machines leave. The machines. No, let's keep it like that. The artificial intelligence might keep one or another. Builders and machines, they create the structural columns and the structures, that's right, they create the columns that support the building. Structures and the house's structural foundation, as well as its integrity. In stage three, it's The glass and masonry are installed. Masonry. All walls, doors, windows, glass, and other similar structural elements, such as partitions and panels, are included. And in the final stage, in stage four, Skilled landscaping professionals install and maintain outdoor spaces. Landscaping, they carry the plants and trees by hand and do the planting. One last thing here, just to recap, finish. The construction animation process or what's missing here. Look, construction up to the eighth second of the animation. Cool. I think this could be our prompt. Please translate this prompt or instruction into English. All right. Now, ChatGPT will translate it for us, optimized for cringy AI. Based on stages. That's it. Great. 
Let's copy this prompt, a relatively simple prompt, but one that follows a construction sequence. Let's bring in the image. Here in Kling, we'll bring in image 01, Kling AI, renders, construction, image 01 with the empty lot. Let's wait for it to load, and image 02 with the house built. The empty lot where we use Nano Banana to remove the house from the lot. Let's paste the prompt here now. We can leave it as 2.1, so it can understand the start and end, the initial and the final. Let's change it to 10 seconds and set it to two outputs, OK? Avoid setting too many outputs here so it doesn't get too expensive, see? Otherwise, the tool becomes very expensive. I'm going to set just two outputs to be safe and choose between one or the other. But if you think it makes sense, set it to just one output so you can save on the tool. All right? Two outputs and let's generate. It's pretty quick for it to generate here. I think in two minutes it'll be ready. Let's wait for it to generate the animation and we'll be right back. All right, folks, it's finished making the animation with artificial intelligence. So let's check out the result, right? Let's put it on full screen and hit play. Look at that. It brought in the machine, the house is being built. It brought in the crane, placed the plants and finished in just eight seconds. Look, it even added wind in the palm trees. People building, installing the glass, pretty cool. Let's check out the other option and pick one of them. Let me go back here. Oh, nice. It brought in the crane, people building. I like the first one better. So you can simply download the version you choose right here. Desktop, King AI. King image and video. Let's call this one house as an example. Construction. House construction, right? Perfect. Let's check out the version on Windows. And that's it, right? Look at that. Really cool. All right, it's actually super simple. You can even adapt the prompt. You can ask ChatGPT to leave closing the garage door for last. You can ask it to add a person closing the main door at the end. You can ask it to put a gate, for example, in front of the garage. You can use ChatGPT to have it move the camera forward while it animates. You can create variations, all right? I'll leave the prompt down here for you as well, okay? So you can use it in your tests, all right? Always remember to test here with just one output or two at most five seconds to try to reduce the cost, okay? For our test here, since I had already done some tests before, this one worked well. Let's test it now with the other scene. For that, I also want to show you here in Unreal Engine, which is the software we use here at device, we can do a time lapse, for example. With this building here, I've already selected and created the camera here. Let me see which camera this is. This camera here, let me check. I think it's camera two. Camera three. Let's see if it's camera three, camera four. This one here, cool. So for example, I have this camera here, which is a vertical render, and it follows the same line. I have the frame here with the construction, or I can just as easily close the construction level at this stage. And let me remove the plants as well. And let me hide these two here, cool. So I have this render here with the building and without the building. From here, I can generate the case. If I can't, for example, generate, if I can't get the artificial intelligence to make this cutout for me, to have it remove the building. So if I have the 3D file, I consider it as with the building and without the building, all right? By the way, I had already done the render and left the render for you. In fact, it's already finished here, cool. And I left the render for you, which I'll also put down here in the description, okay? Which is, which are these two here? The image without the building and the image with the building. 
Without the building, with the building. Without the building, with the building. Perfect? Great. In the same way, let's go to Kringai. We can even use the same prompt. The initial image that is currently visible on the screen, let's swap it for the image of the building. Without the building actually, with the empty lot. And in the final image, the building, constructed. Wait for it to load here. Done. Initial image and final image, done. And start generating this video here, right? Let it generate the video here. As soon as it's ready, I'll come back here so we can see the result. All right? Great, the video generation is finished. Shall we watch it? I'll go back to the beginning here. Building the building. Look, the crane. It recognizes the crane. The excavator's here. The final version with people. Look at that. It adds the landscaping. Let's watch the other video to see which one we choose. Let's check out this one. Nice. Then it finishes a little before the end, just as we asked. Nice. Then you just download it and your video is ready. I'm going to wrap up this lesson here. I hope you enjoyed yet another possibility here with Kling AI. And the only limit is your creativity. You can even adapt the prompt for things you want to add. Remove the cars, add a moving car, add people walking, birds flying, the camera zooming in, all while this effect is being created. Creativity is the only limit, okay? I'll leave the prompt in the description below and you can adapt it and try out other tests yourself. So, what did you think? Pretty cool, right? If you have the render or the images and use Kling AI, you can achieve this effect in a relatively simple way. Really cool, right? Don't forget to leave a like. And on November 1st, we're going to have our biggest Black Friday ever here at Divis. The biggest Black Friday we've ever done here at Divis. We're going to launch an artificial intelligence course that's amazing for ArchVis, architecture and engineering with a lot, a lot of content in the market. We're launching a SketchUp course, new packs, discounts of up to 70%. I'll leave all the links in the description, okay? The links for our Black Friday, which starts on November 1st, and the links for you to download these renders that I provided so you can study along with me. Bye. See you on the first at our device Black Friday. Click the link so you can find out before everyone else. The new things we'll have there. Bye. Don't miss this opportunity. It's going to be really cool. Bye.